Hallelujah. Da mafia ha le lu hu hu ya. The Buffalo Bills just, and I'm telling you just, re-signed linebacker Matt Milano. And you guys know, throughout the past couple of months, I have been hypothetically shitting my pants, thinking of how exactly we were going to replace Matt Milano. But it seems like we don't need to be targeting Zayvon Collins in the first round anymore, any big type linebacker, or try to find a linebacker in free agency that would be able to fill the shoes that Milano once filled. We don't have to worry about that now, because Matt Milano is the guy to do it. That's right. In fact, a couple of minutes ago, Sal Capaccio, he was the guy that actually broke the news uh, for me, at least, yesterday when I ended up dropping my John Brown and Quentin Jefferson video. But uh, Sal says that a source familiar with the situation tells me the Bills and linebacker Matt Milano have agreed to a new four-year contract. He won't be hitting free agent market and will be back in Buffalo. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to screenshot that for my dude for making my job so much, so much easier. Ladies and gentlemen, you heard it from the man himself. Matt Milano's back. Matt Milano is back. And I mean, you guys know, all of my videos were framed. Like, I was convinced that Matt Milano was going to walk. I was convinced that Matt Milano wanted to go on ahead and test free agency, get a payday. And really, at the end of the day, who could blame the guy? I mean, he's probably like a top echelon type linebacker. I mean, this guy would have ended up getting paid. And I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, dude man is bringing home... And so if I had to guess, he's bringing home 11 million per year, which is about 2 million less than his actual market value. But dude, man, he loves Buffalo, apparently, man. He loves Buffalo. He wants to be able to stick with his teammates and go on ahead and see if they can truly make a Super Bowl run going into next year. And that's great because honestly, I think that we would have been royally fucked in the middle of the field if he were to go. So we're going to have to see how things play out. I mean, Maybe it wouldn't hurt even still going after a Zayvon Collins in the first round, sort of replacing AJ Klein, right? Maybe that could be a situation we can go after. Just have an absolutely filthy middle of the field and we'll see what's going on. I mean, now the whole cutting John Brown and cutting Quentin Jefferson suddenly makes sense. It seems like Matt Milano was the dude that they wanted to take care of. They wanted to bring back onto this team and I cannot be happier. Dumb off you, do me a favor, leave a comment. What do you think about the signing? And so are you happy about it? If you're not, you can go f yourself. <laughs> Just kidding. But I sincerely want to hear your opinion on this entire signing. Um, I'm going to look into our cap because I'm planning on doing another live stream here within the next couple of days. So we're going to have to um, see where the cap situation is and whether or not that it's even more realistic that we can go out and sign somebody new onto this squad. I love you, Dom Mafia. Please comment your thoughts. And before I let you go, always remember, let's go Buffalo.